What a hearty welcome to all my subscribers and those who are seeing my face and this content for the first time. This is Oscar Zinzi Football, where we discuss anything to do with soccer from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. Well, in this episode, we'll be going uh, deeper, discussing the big three of South Africa, which is your Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, and Mamelodi Sundowns, discussing uh, what happened in their preseason and going to the best 11 uh, I think uh, the three coaches will employ for this season. Now, if you're seeing my face for the first time with this content, please do give it a like, uh, uh, give me your honest view on the topic being discussed below. Do share with your friends, family, and enemies. Uh, it's important for me. Thank you so much for all the support I've been getting from all those who have subscribed. Now, let's do this. Now, uh, Orlando Pirates went to Spain for their preseason. They played three games and uh, they didn't lose any. Uh, I think they, they, won, they won two. Uh, Sundowns went to the Netherlands. They played four games. Uh, they, they didn't lose any. They won three and drew one. Because the Chiefs, the biggest club in the land, uh, went to Pumalanga. From Pumalanga, went to Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. And then uh, their last game of the preseason uh, was in Khadaroni, Botswana. So I think they played two games uh, because they are the biggest club in the land. The two games were broadcasted live for national television. And um, they lost the two games against, uh, against Township Rollers in Botswana and the Younger FC in, in Tanzania. Now, uh, I really want to give my opinion on, um, on what uh, type of formations uh, and systems uh, the three coaches will employ. And my best 11, which I think uh, they will use for the season. Three teams that are different, uh, different philosophies, um, uh, three teams that are, they've got uh, quality players, uh, they've got depth, and so, so we, we, we're talking about uh, uh, an interesting season that is starting on the 4th of August. So, I think uh, maybe the, the, the best thing to do is uh, probably to say uh, from each team, the best player to watch uh, this coming season from Orlando Pirates, I think the young man they bought from uh, Super Sport United, Maswangani, will be a puzzle uh, that is uh, not known by many. Uh, I watched one game, I think they were playing aside from uh, Ecuador. Uh, and I, la I liked the, the intensity of uh, Amapaga Paga um, and uh, the introduction of Masonga in, in the first 11 is definitely going to ease the pressure uh, of uh, Saleng who had a, a sterling season uh, on the previous one uh, so it's going to ease pressure on him while everyone will be focused on him uh, this player is definitely going to shine. So Masuawani is one player to watch out this season. And uh, from Kaiser Chiefs, um, the, the, the Venezuelan Castillo, he's, uh, he's a special. He, he's, he's, his diagonal uh, passes, his, uh, his, uh, his, 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 his short passes, uh, his first touch, he, his aggression in the midfield, he's going to be a, a special player. But we will have to wait and see, because what uh, the DSTV Premiership uh, offers obviously is different from uh, the intensity of uh, the club they played against in in Botswana. So he will be tested, but he he he's one player we need to look out for. From Mamelodi Sundowns, I I I I'm I'm happy to see a healthy Rivaldo. Uh, he, this is a special player. Uh, one who, who said he will forever be loyal to Mamelodi Sundowns 
considering that many clubs had given up on him because of uh, his history of injuries. One player to look out for definitely is Ronaldo. I mean, Rivaldo for me, he he's a libero. He, he can play centre back. He can play as a as a deep uh, lying midfielder. So I, I I really pray and hope that uh, he's got a, a healthy season. Now, uh, is it too early to press uh, panic buttons for the Amakosi faithful, considering that they lost their two uh, friendly games in the preseason? Their first game will be against uh, a Chippa United. Um, Chippa Peng is gave um, uh, uh, Morgan. Uh, the, the 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 right to 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 coach Chipa United and hopefully this time around Chipa Pengis will let him coach uh, the team for thirty games, uh, which is something we know in the history of Chipa United does not uh, really happen. So he came out uh, not too long ago and said that uh, to play Kaiser Chiefs is a is a is a is an easy one, is an easy one for him. Uh, so we it, it seems like this guy. He's not scared to, 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 I don't know if he is doing it for, for viewership or for likes or to attract traffic towards um, cheaper. I don't know. And uh, so I, I think this is the best 11 uh, Mulefenseki should employ against uh, Chipa United uh, uh, next coming weekend. Uh, I think their number one, number one goalie should be uh, uh, Peterson uh, and uh, I mean uh, Bavuma should be the secondary keeper and uh, Kune should continue being that experienced goalkeeper who will cover if these two are injured. Now they should continue using Frosler as a right back and Slanty as a left back. Now where the headache will come for the coaches or the technical team is who to start uh, as their centre back pairing? I personally go with um, Ditlok as the left centre back. Uh, partner him with Njabulo Ngobo, who has done extremely well in the friendly games they've played. Uh, uh, I'll partner those two, although Msimang also has a has a chance of starting. But Ditlok is a definite is a definite starter for me. And then the system, I think, a formation you should use should probably be a 4-3-3. The midfield three then should be a Castillo, Sitebe, with a number 10 in front of them. I would personally go for Mkosin Pilenob. He's exciting, he's bold, uh, he's, he's, he's got a pass in him, he's got an assist in him, he can dribble, he can eliminate players. So that midfield three will do wonders for Mlefenseki, Castillo, Sitebe, and Mkosin Pile. Now the front three, which I believe uh, can get um, Keza Chiefs goals is uh, Dolly on the right, Modi on the left, and Shefa Viro. This is a, a best 11 on paper. I believe some of the players are injured, um, but we don't know. Next weekend, uh, they might all be fit to start. So a front three of uh, Dolly coming from the right, uh, Modi coming from the left, and the target man, Shefa Viro, should bring their Makosi faithful goals. Now, going to Orlando Pirates, we know that Jose, the Spanish Spanish guitar, has employed the 4-2-3-1 formation ever since he came to Pirates. And now I must say this and then make it very clear that uh, Lodge, Lodge, who's a fan favorite, I don't see him as a starter this coming season. Uh, number one, China will, will keep his place right back. Uh, Moniana, he's, a, he's, he's he's got speed. He can defend. He can add numbers up front. And then you've got um, Paseka Marco on the left uh, left back. And then the central pairing, he should just continue to Kogi and CBC. And then uh, the two midfield on the base should be continue with the Tim and Monare. The three are taking forwards. On the on the left side, Maswangani is a starter for me. So Maswangani, uh, a player that uh, other PSL uh, teams should be looking out for. 
on the right selling obviously and then number 10 cabello cabello he's a special player a lot of orlando pirates fans uh, i mean there's mixed uh, reactions on the player there are those who are for and there are those who are against but he's a hard working player john law hasn't done that well to deserve uh, a starting 11 position so i'll still go with uh, a cabello i mean in that number 10 role and that one lone striker up front, uh, I'll continue with Kemet Erasmus. Although, although Lipasa is breathing heavily on his neck, Evanga is knocking, and the other Cameroonian striker is also knocking. So that's my best 11 for Ezgama Kepula, Ezatatun Klawa, Amaspala, Orlando Pirates. Last but not least, the defending champions, Mamelodi Sundowns. Well, I think uh, everyone knows. Rulanu uh, Mukwena, how they play, their philosophy, it's not a secret. Uh, they, they have consistently uh, used this system in the PSL and even going to, to Africa. I don't know if he's going to change some of the things because he's a, a coach who's constantly relearning and learning and continuing to learn how to improve this Mamelodi Sundowns fan. I mean, Mamelodi Sundowns team. Now, the number one goal, I think what's more important for Rolando Mukwena is um, his building up schemes or building up uh, systems. Hence, you have a goalkeeper who should, um, who should be very good in, in his feet. Uh, so, a ball-playing goalkeeper. That's why they, they, they went all out to get uh, a Williams. Williams is a number one. No doubt, uh, Kulisomudao, right back. Uh, left back is your Mudiba, central pairing, AB, the Moroccan, and I think the right center back should be Grant Kekana. Uh, good in the air, physical, uh, I think he's better than uh, Lord Mfala, uh, although Lord Mfala is also knocking uh, for that starting spot in the uh, right center back position. So the back four for me uh, is Mudiba. A.B. Grant and Kulisom Dao. Now the four diamond in the middle at the base of the diamond. You have Debo Homukoyena, uh, top end of the diamond. You have a new signing in Junior Malieta who will play that number 10 role. And the two number eights is a Marcelo and uh, Emma Yema. Uh, that's your four uh, diamond in the middle for Sundance because Mukoyena plays a 4-4-2 unless things change this season and the front two uh, uh it will be shalulile and zwane playing uh, just behind four four two or four four one one so that's the best 11 i think rol mukwena will employ for his mamelodi sundance uh, side as the league will commence next week friday the 4th of august um, uh please if we have to go with what happened in the preseason, Mamadou Santa should continue where they left off uh, from last season and Pirate the same. And uh, it appears like nothing has really, really improved for for Kaiser Chiefs. But uh, we don't know. We don't know. Maybe they, they, they've got a secret weapon that will surprise us all when they play against Chipper United. Please continue liking and sharing this content with all the people you know who love football. This is Oscar Sinsi signing out. God bless you all. Thank you.